This work is a multi-layered work. It speaks of oppression, political oppression, and the difficulties of identities actually in the Arab world, but it also speaks about the relationships of violence between individuals and the relationship of violence within oneself as well. There is no, if, if there is no madness, it's not love. It's a word by Calderon. And I think this work speaks of love also and the dangerous mechanisms of, of love when it goes astray, when it goes too far. One has to be very vigilant and art doesn't bring answers, but it brings hope, hope of salvation, artist salvation. I believe strongly in that. That's why artists have to be activists. And um, my principal interest in this work is the tension between violence and softness. You have a beautiful pillow which is embroidered. It's, a, it's long hours of work for women. And you have this trap which is maybe easy to lift up and free, free the dreams that are imprisoned in the pillows. I believe this piece to be very expressive of the conditions of women in the Arab world. Of course, one shouldn't have just a black and white image. Women are seen as sexual objects everywhere. I don't think it's um, specific to the Arab world. But here, the codes are clear. They are very sharp. So it's difficult to find a way in between and to get free. But there are individualities. There are different people. There are different types uh, of possibilities of being for people. It's not just one image. So I'm really proud to say that there are a lot of women artists in, uh, in the Arab world and in Morocco who are working very successfully. I can say this piece also speak from that because the embroidery was the first door for, uh, for art for traditional women. It was, uh, it was an access to dream and art and uh, evasion. So this work, which is quite aggressive, also speaks mm -hmm. of uh, freedom and hope. I agree that women artists in the, in the Arab world right now have no boundaries. They don't work as if they were women or if they were Arab. They have a very universal language and they're, they're really going far. They're not using the aesthetic anymore in order to express themselves. I believe it's a universal uh, sense of art now, which is very strong. And my work speaks very specifically of, uh, of the violence which is lived by people that don't have a way to express themselves. So, of course, the category can be very wide. It can be a woman in a couple, it can be um, an individual in a community who is religiously repressed, or it can be a child who's suffering, it can be any kind of, uh, of, of, of oppression. I, I am a painter and a photographer as well, so in my installations it's more evident. In my painting and my photos, it's, I say it in a more subtle way, but I'm trying to give a face to those who don't have a face, who don't have a public expression, uh, a public way to express themselves. Their Morocco is not living such uh, horrific uh, events than the rest of the Arab world. I'm very sensitive to what's happening, but we personally are a little bit uh, preserved from this. But as an artist, we, as an artist, I think that there is no frontiers and all the suffering and the turmoil of the Arab world really question our, our identity in Morocco, even if it's uh, much more peaceful. And there is actually in the Arab world a, a big turmoil about identity. Morocco is like a nice uh, picture of a postcard. 
that as you see, the reality is not always uh, that does not always correspond. And do, do do we want to be that? Do we want to be just a, a nice photo for tourists? This, the question also is pregnant in the work. You see, the embroidery is very traditional. But what did we do in Morocco of our traditional identity? It has been crushed by something which we have to analyze if we want to go beyond.